Hello, my night owls. Um, I wanted to make a video about me. I had wrote fan fiction, like I had written them a long time ago. Like some of them are uh, fan fictions of animes that I watched and some are about YouTubers that I ship together. Yes, I ship YouTubers. Um, I have two, two uh, stories that I started but didn't finish. Um, but the mo the one that people read the most is I can't believe you're real, which is a Matt Maddie Mello one. It's um from Death Note, Matt and Mello from Death Note. I um I wrote that. It says May 12, 2014 when I wrote that one. So I'm going to read it to you. Okay, the, the first chapter, I think there's only two pages in here. And the first one is, can't believe you're really gone. Okay, Matt wakes up and rubs my eyes and sighs, remembering me and Mello had a fight. And as, long, as, I, and as I look around the room to see it's empty, I, sh I shoot up seeing all his stuff is gone. I trip, uh, I trip as I get out of bed and the blanket tingled around me as I pick myself up off the floor. I feel the pain of the rug burn and the pain in my chest. Was he really gone? I look around the room and see nothing. All of his only mine and I feel, and I feel stinging in my eyes as tears well up. Mello! I sob out and race around the room, around the place, looking for him, not believing he has gone. But all I found was nothing. He was gone. I fell to the floor and saw all I can feel now was the empty place in my chest that was left behind. He was he was gone, and I and I will never see him again. Mellow's point of view. I didn't want to leave. I was forced to. Forced to. His life was in danger and all I wanted is to protect him with all I have. I'm sorry, Matt. I love you. As I drove away, I could feel my heart get left behind. I just wanted to turn around, run up the stairs, and hug him and tell him I'm sorry, but I can't. I don't want to drag him into this. That's why I started. Oh, that's why I started the fight. Mello started the fight. Once I got where I needed to be, I get off my motorcycle and take my helmet off and walk into the building and go to the top floor. As I wait, as I wait, I look out the window. All I can see is Matt's crying face. I grimace and look away and the door opens and I step out. It's near his point of view point of view now, okay. You made it. Looks at it's, I think it's supposed to be I look at him and see the sad look on his face and I play with my hair. So you left him? He gives me a hard look and I look away, taking it as an a yes. Take it as a yes. Well, let's get to work with your plan. I hear him sigh and walk closer and I hear him sigh and walk closer and we Mello drew out the Mello drew out the plan and once that was done Mello went to put the plan into action. Right. <laughs> Matt Matt's point of view now. Here's Mellow motorcycle and looks out the window and sees him drive away and I get dressed fast and run down and get in my car and drive fast to keep up. I find him and follow him to a place. I watch him go in and sit and wait for him to come out so I can ask him why he left. It seems like hours before he comes back out but once he did I was out of my car and walking over when he sees me I could see a glimpse of some 
thing, but before I could see what it was, it was masked. He good, he's good at doing that when he won't, wants to push someone away, not me, away. Oh, not me. Please don't push me away. I grab him and kiss him be him forcefully and he pushes me and I cry. Soon he stops and the kiss turns to a hot kiss. I can't help but help it but smile soon I'm pinned and I look at him breathless. Why? Mellow's point of view. Seeing Matt makes my heart throb and I make and I mask my feelings and he's and he sees I'm trying to push him away. He knows me too well, and, and he kisses me forcefully. <laughs> I push him away, but then he cries, and I can't help but give in, and soon the kiss turns into a hot kiss, and I have him pinned. I pull back and look at him. Both of us are out of breath, and I was taken off guard by his question. I don't want to drag you into this. I don't want you to get hurt. The look on his face took me off guard as well. What? Matt. Feels like laughing, but I don't. I, lo I love Mellow, but I'm going to help you no matter I love you, Mellow, but I'm helping you no matter what. I kiss him but before he could say no, and I look at him hard. I am Mellow... I am mellow. Please don't stop me. The look on his face made me smile and I knew he w was done pushing me away. This is like from a long time ago and I didn't really know how to write. I'm not that great of a writer either way so a lot of this is like kind of hard to read. Mellow. After we talked, me and him went to put the plan into action. I kidnapped Takeda, that lady that um they're supposed to kidnap. And Matt takes her bodyguards on a high speed chase. I had her stripped down and locked her in the back of the trailer and drive to a church. Matt feels my heart race as it as I drive fast. It was always exciting to drive fast. I love the speed. Smoking my cigarette and I sit there looking around. I'm surrounded but there's an opening Wondering if I should take the opening and seize all the guys and wonder how many bodyguards that woman needs. Then I hear Mello's voice in my ear. Matt. His voice is faint like he is having a hard time saying what he wants to say. Yes, Mello? I, I love you. He's panting and I feel my heart racing. I love you too, Mello. If I could take back the night... Mello? Tears up. I wonder... I understand, Mello. Just rest. Mello's point of view. Tries to hold on so I can tell Matt what I want to tell him. All I could hear was, I understand, Mello. Just rest. All goes dark and tears fall from my eyes. So Mello is dead? That must have been a little confusing to the audience because they're like, Wait, what's going on? Now that I reread it, I'm like, oh my god, they probably don't even know, understand what's going on. But I think they found, they did understand, like, eventually that Mello passed away. Didn't realize that until now. Okay, Matt's point of view. Take a breath and get out of the car. Hey, come on, give me a break. Since when are the Japanese... Japanese were allowed to carry around big guns? You got me. I was... Part of this whole kidnapping incident, it means you will have a lot of questions. I knew even saying all of this, I would, I was going to die. You won't shoot. Before I got it out, guns were firing and I was hit. I don't know how many times my body was numb. My life with mellow flashed before my eyes the first time. We kissed to the, ne the to the sex, even to now, and I fell on to my car, and I take my last breath, and everything goes dark, and I know soon I'll be, I'll be with Mellow again. It is hard to read like 
I realized how hard it is actually to read. There's another part, but I don't know how to get to it. Sugar crap. Afterlife. Afterlife. Male. <laughs> Male. AKA Matt. May hell. Jumps onto him and I hear him grunt and this is Matt's point of view. Okay, May hell. Jumps onto him and I hear, I hear him grunt as I land on him. Let's play! He smiles. Mellow's point of view. I actually used their actual names instead of Matt and Mellow. Their actual names is Mail and Mayhal. Mayhal. I don't know how. I don't know how to say Mellow's real name, but that's how I say it. Mayhal. Point of view. Looks at him and sighs. Okay, what do you want to play? Matt's point of view. Mellow's Mail's point of view. Hide and seek. Gets off him and he sits up. <sighs> Mellow grabs. His goggles. Oh, grabs. Uh, Mellow grabs. Uh, Matt. Matt has goggles on his face, so he grabbed it and he pulled it and he snapped it back, and making him cry in pain. Mayhow, no hide and seek. Before, before he can complain, I kiss him deep and he's taken off and he nods in the kiss and he throws his self onto me making me grunt. God you're heavy. <laughs> Male. Looks at him cheeks pink. Shut up. Get off him. He get. I get off him and walk away and I walk away and I can hear him laugh and I look back and stick my tongue out at him and turns and runs into near and falls over. I look at him. Near found me and Mayhal and took us in when our parents didn't want us any wants us and named us. You okay, Mail? Oh, this is Near's point of view. You okay, Mail? Yeah, he says yes and gets up and he says he's sorry. It's okay, just watch where you're going. I am in my 60s. I found Mail and Mayhal out on my porch two days apart. They're both 15 now, but they remind me so much of Matt and Mello. I would have called them Matt and Mello, but I wanted to give them their real names. Year 2020. Mail. This is Mail's point of view. Ma Mayhal? Yes, Mail. I miss Nier. I wish he didn't have to get old and die. I know. I wish he didn't have to either. He hugged me and cried and I told him I hold him and tear up. I never really got along with him. Nier was someone I could look up to. After a bit at the grave, me and Mello head back to our place. A big place with just the two of us and no near. The night we slept in Nier's room in the bed, we well, I didn't sleep, but Mail was asleep. He cried himself to sleep, and I held him. I got off the bed and looked out the window. I seen a woman stumbling along. I run downstairs and out to out the door and over to her. You okay, Miss? She looked at me and walked over. Please take him. I can't take care of him. I live on the streets and I'm dying. She stands. She hands me a baby and I take it. What's his name? Name him as you please, but please tell him when he's older enough. Old enough. I never wanted to give him away and I love him. I will. She walks off looking behind her as she goes. I can. I could tell she was crying. I went back into the house and to the into the room. I sat on the bed and looked down at the baby and lays him on the bed, uncovering him and I gasp. Mel wakes up and stretch. Mayhel I s sits up and sees him looking down at something and I crawl over. What are you looking? Sees the baby and gasps. Where did you get the baby from? Mayhel look at Mayhel looks at me. A woman gave gave him to me because she couldn't take care of him. 
What's his name? Nate? His name is Nate. Like Mir? Yes, he looks just like him. We both look at him and nod. Mayhow. Rocks Nate to sleep and wonders where Mel is and looks around for him and finds him in Nir's room. What are you doing? Look. Look, Mayhel. Looks at a picture he showed me and guessed. That, that's Mail. That's you, Mail. I know. It says I died in 2013 by gunfire. He looks up at me. What does it mean? Shrugs and sits down. I don't know, Mail. It also says I went by the name of Matt. Looks through the box. He, looking through the box, he's looking at and finds a church on fire and feels like I've seen this before and look at mail. This has to do with us, but I don't know how. We look at each look we look at the pictures again. Will you take them will you take them to work? Yeah, I will and see who Mello and Matt are and if they're connected to us in somehow some way. May help. Gets home and finds Mal with Nate and walks over to him and sits next to him and holds his free hand. Mal, the guy in the picture is you. Oh, okay. What about the other newspaper article? Tells him everything that happened, how it happened, and how we died. Near Near made a video diary about it and about us and how we were reborn into a new life. So this is our afterlife. It looks like it. So this is Near. He looks down at the white haired baby sound asleep in his arms looking so peaceful. Yes, and we're Mellow and Matt. Can I call you Mellow? <laughs> yes, if you like. Okay, and call me Matt. I look more like a mat than a male. He giggled and I'm amusing, amused by himself. I smirk and kiss his head. I love you, Matt. I love you, M M Mello. He, he tears up and looks down. What's wrong? I, I felt like I knew you forever. Now I know I have. I hug him while doing so. Nate wakes up and cries. And we both jump and try to come him down. Matt, we're sorry. Oh, this is Matt's point of view. Matt, we're sorry, Nate. We didn't mean to wake you up. Please don't cry. Me and Mello got Nate to sleep and we put him in his bed and sang sighs and sit back down next to Mel. I look at him and see him looking at me and my cheeks, cheeks go pink and I look away. I know what you know what we haven't done in a long time since Nate came? My face goes redder as I heard what he was saying and I know what it is. We haven't had sex months since Nate came. Before I could even say anything, Meluk was kissing at my neck and I gasped. I don't think it's going to go all sexual, but I know it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Not... Not here, Nate's in the room. Slips. We slip out of the room and down to our room and turn the baby monitor on and soon Mello was back at my neck. I was, I know me and him are sexually frustrated and need some release. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, that's, oh my god. I forgot how, I forgot. I forgot. This is all my god. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, um, um, where was I? Okay, M Mellow. Ah, I found my body trembling with pleasure as he bit my neck and my body <laughs> heats up. My body heats up. Soon I was on the bed. Mello 
tearing my clothes off, not taking them off, literally tearing them off, and I can't help but get turned on. He won't, He wants me so bad, and I want him just as bad. So we both were undressed, kissing heatedly. Oh, I'm not, I can't. Oh, God. Oh, Mello, mm, please. I can't. Oh, God. He looks at me, eyes dark with lust, and I moan and gasp, feeling him. Oh, God, it goes that. I can't. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so they practically have sex. I am not reading the rest of it. Oh, God. Oh, I can't read the I can't. I can't. Oh, no. <sighs> it's all sex stuff. I didn't realize how deep I went into it. I didn't think I went... I didn't think I did the sex stuff. I thought I was gonna do like, oh, they kiss since they started like taking each other's off because I, I've done this before. Like I tell, I was like pretty much like, oh, they started making out and they started taking out their clothes. But then I've like skipped to the next day and then like, oh, you practically knew that they had sex. You just, I didn't go into full out details with it. But this one I went into full detail and I totally forgot. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, so they're laying on the bed now, holding each other and snuggling each other. I love you, Mello. I love you too, Matt. I always will. Kisses his- he kisses my- kiss, I kiss his head and we both fall asleep. This is M Matt talking, by the way. Hope- hope you guys liked it. This is my first ever sh shared story, so please tell me what you- think even if it hurts my feelings I can handle it oh my god no <laughs> and I wrote some other ones but this video is going on for a very long time so I might do another one. Oh my god this is uh I'm I'm crying I'm like legit like crying it's fucking hilarious <laughs> okay so I have um one by Dan and Phil that I made that I want to read you guys and I got two other stories that I try, I've been trying to write. It's one of Mark and Jack, um, and then, oops, sorry. And then I had this other one that's Mark and Jack, but it's their dark side. But I ha I didn't finish it because, I don't know, something's not right with the stories. I'm not positive. But, yeah, forward to my next video where I read some more of my fan fiction and I'm pretty sure the rest of them oh I read uh, I did a couple of them let's see I did one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen I did thirteen things two of them I don't think are published yet no they're not published yet because I didn't finish them I will leave a link down in the description if you want to go and read them, I guess, so. <clears throat> but I will probably make another video reading another one of my fanfiction, because I like reading my fanfictions. Some of them are pretty good. The Matt and Mellow one, were kind of, it was kind of pretty good. I just, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see all you beautiful night owls tomorrow. Goodbye. Wait, wait,